Hello. One minute of silence. So I'm going to do a quick exercise called 30 circles, but uh, I'm going to make this one 20 circles because that's what I had for the page. And I'm going to give myself a timer uh, of two minutes. And I'm going to try to draw objects that are circle-like um, in there. So like, for example, something that can go in the circle is a donut because it's like circle-shaped. So. Two minutes starting now. So I'm just uh, thinking, and you don't have to be artistically inclined. Yeah, uh, just send me a message and we'll get it done, man. Um, I'm just going through different art stuff. At the end of the, the exercise, I will show you what I did and I'll explain it. So just keep that in mind. Also, when you're doing the exercise, it's more for you to do it. So you don't even have to watch me do it. Just give you ideas. Mm. Oh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my time's up. Okay, so um, this is what I did, and I'll tell you what they are from top. I'll uh, just do it this way because it's easier. So the first one was a mouth with one tooth and a tongue. Then the second one was, was a bottle cap. Then the third one was like a, a bolt, a nut that like goes around and tightens something. Then it was uh, a nail, uh, a tack, then a barbecue lid with a hot dog in it. That's this one if anyone cares to know. Um, a baseball, a basketball, and then a balloon. Balloon. Okay, so the reason why I did this exercise, because uh, although it's the same circle, and in life things may seem the same, you have the ability to change every single day. It's as simple as that. Uh, also, one of my thoughts that I was having today was when I was having a conversation, again, with a friend who I have a few of those, um, they were saying it's really hard to incorporate something new into their life 
because of all the time they're going to have to put on it. For example, what they were saying was um, food. Uh, food is like if you want to prepare your own food. And for this particular person, it wasn't the only issue or it wasn't really that big of an issue. They do it for themselves, but just the consistency, I think, for them. Um, so the, the thought was they have to get up earlier. They have to put in time. And the only thing I was thinking at that moment was uh, that's only because it's the you now who's thinking that. And the you now is also maybe wants a change, isn't doing, maybe isn't feeling fulfilled, inspired, uh, a brand new, maybe positive. So don't take the perspective of that person don't give that person the control to decide if you're going to bring something new into your life that actually might serve you. And the next thing is anything you do in your life will take time. Will take maybe need some preparation. Uh, you need to buy certain things, have certain things. And in that process, in that point, that's really where the most time that you really might spend on it. But after a while, just like everything, you build the muscle and you get better at it. Next time you, you won't have to buy the product or you won't need to set it up because it's already set up. Once you start that routine, you now have made space and time uh, and energy for it and it won't feel as a shock to the routine that didn't have it, right? Or oh, sorry, it won't feel like a shock because it's already now integrated into your routine. It's only a shock to who you are now that's not doing the thing. So I would say anyone who's trying to make a change, it really is as easy um, as doing these circles. Uh, circles right here. Uh, it gets, it's difficult at first. It might not be, you might not be able to think of something but tomorrow, instead of me needing to draw 30 circles and put the book down or put in, find a book to get the book, I'll have my book on the side. I'll have the circles already drawn. It'll take me less time. And because I've already put the energy on it, tomorrow I'll know how much time that mentally t took, um, how much of me I need to put in it, how much time I need to set aside. So... Try not to listen to the voice that's saying it's going to be a shock to the system. It's going to be too much. I don't know if I'm going to do it because that's just the you that's now. And the you that's now isn't doing those things. And that was, uh, I'm sure I had more to say, but it's fine. I feel like I've said the point of what I wanted to say. So I'm going to end with a minute of silence. And I hope you enjoyed also, before I start the minute of silence, um, if there's any art suggestions, art prompts, exercises, things you'd like me to try, you'd like to join me, send me a message. You can send it to me on Instagram or uh, private message if you have me on Facebook or if you have my number. If you want my number, also send me a message. It'd be great. So, starting the one minute of silence now. distractions. Uh, just some final thoughts were, oh, 
give myself some love. I gave myself love before, so that's why it's like a shocking thought at this moment. Um, I wrote another song today. It was a rap. Didn't think I'd write a rap because that was the old me. Um, and it was fun. I enjoyed it very much. I woke up early again, uh, ate some really good foods today. Uh, had a good time at work. I have spoken to a few friends who I wanted to speak to today and I wrote in my journal again today. That was great. Had some good stuff in there and I did another video and I'm here. You're amazing. Keeping amazing. Bye.